Today we're going to go over how to fix common issues with Drive Image when it will not load at the copier. Maybe we've got a new copier or the server IP address has changed. We'll show you how to fix those common problems. The first thing that we're going to need to do is launch Drive Image. So we just double click on the icon, go into the admin tool, and pull down the tools menu to go into device management. This is where we set up our copiers. At the top of this dialog, we'll select our copier. We'll confirm that at the bottom, a license is checked and assigned to that copier. And then we'll click Edit. From here, we'll see all the details of the copier, like the MAC address, which might change if we had a new copier or service on the copier. So we'll click Connect. I'm going to go out to that IP address of the copier and return the MAC address. It appears to be the same, so that's not our issue today. And at the bottom, we're going to select our automatic register and type in our credentials of admin and 123456 to log on to the copier. Now, we need to see if maybe the IP address has changed of our server. This URL lists the IP address of the computer that we're working on. And that may have changed. So we'll go to a command prompt by typing CMD. And we'll type IPCONFIG. IPConfig will return the IP address of the device currently. And we can see that in this case it has changed. The last octet is now 3 instead of 5. So we'll make that change inside of this dialog. We'll copy that new URL. And we'll launch Internet Explorer with the green E in the upper right and go out to the copier's top access web interface. Once again, admin and 123456 will log us into the copier. We'll go to the administration page. The EWB link below that for scroll to the bottom of the page and we'll register our computer at the copier by putting in that new IP address, changing that last octet from a 5 to a 3, and we'll add that so now our computer is registered in the copier. We'll also change the drive image link, which has the IP address embedded in it from a 5 to a 3. Click Save. And we'll delete the old registration for the old IP address. Now one last thing we want to do is go to the Drive Program Group and launch IIS Configuration. This is something we'll run anytime the IP address changes on the machine or a password has changed and it'll reinitialize the Drive Image web page that displays on the copier. Once this process is complete, Drive Image should load properly at the copier.